Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are receiving this error message that is Forza Horizon 5 is currently not available in your account and the error code is 0x803F8001. So if you are receiving this error message, then please follow the steps shown in this video. The first step is to sign out and sign in again on Microsoft Store. So on the top right here, you can see your profile icon, click on it, then select your account and then click on sign out. Now again, click on the profile icon and then click on sign in. Now select your right account and then click on continue. Now over here, enter your pin or password. And once you're logged in, you can go ahead and try to launch or install the game and you should not receive that error code anymore. Now still you're facing the problem in that case, make sure date, time, time zone, region is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is on and also make sure set time zone automatically is also on. Now in case of Windows 11, you will not find this set time zone automatically. In that case, you can go ahead and select the time zone manually from here. And then you can go ahead and click on sync now. And also make sure that the country is right over here. So make sure that you select the right country over here. And then if you want to make changes with date and time, so in that case, you can go ahead and click on add clocks for different time zones. Now you will find this option on Windows 11 on the bottom and then go to date and time, click on change date and time, change the month and year from here, set the right date and then set the right time and then click on OK, OK and then you can go ahead and click on sync now and then try to install or launch the game. Now still you are receiving the error message, in that case you can go ahead and run Windows Store Troubleshooter for this go to the start menu then click on settings. In Windows 11, you have to go ahead and click on system. There, there you will find the troubleshoot option. In Windows 10, you will find the troubleshoot option under update and security. Then click on troubleshoot, additional troubleshooter. Scroll down, here you can see Windows Store apps. Click on run the troubleshooter. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and that should go ahead and fix the error message. The next step is to run WS reset command. So go ahead and type in WS reset. In Windows search box, then click on WS reset. Now here you can see this black screen, this black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. So it may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. So just wait for this black screen to go. Now over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. And now you can go ahead and search the game and then try to launch or install the game. You should not receive that error message. Now the next step is to update your Windows to the latest version for this. Go to the start menu then click on settings. Go to update and security and then click on check for update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer and then try to install or launch the game. The next step is to reset store app. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Go to apps and then click on apps and features. Now in the search box over here, you can go ahead and type in store. And then in Windows 11, in front of Microsoft Store, you will find the three dots, click on three dots and then go to advanced option. In Windows 10, simply click on it, then go to advanced option. Scroll down here, you can see the reset option, click on reset, reset. And after the reset, you can go ahead and try to check. Now, the next step is to make sure gaming service and the Xbox identity provider is installed. Now for this, go ahead and copy this link. So the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now over here, you can see Xbox identity provider, click on get, it will prompt you to open Microsoft store. So open Microsoft store. And over here, you will find the option to install it. If this is not installed, you will see the install option. In my case, it's already installed. Also make sure that you uninstall and reinstall the gaming services. So first of all, we will go ahead and uninstall gaming services. For this, go ahead and copy this command. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box and make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. And once this is done, you can go ahead and run the second command to reinstall gaming services. So copy this command this time. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. And this will open Microsoft Store. And then you will see the install option for gaming services. Click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, you can go ahead and try to check the game. You can go ahead and try to install or launch the game. Now, the next step is to delete Windows Store local cache file. So go to this location. So open File Explorer Then go to this PC, open C drive. 
now open users folder now open your username folder over here and then open app data if you don't see app data in the list go to view on the top and then put a check on the box which says hidden items now open the app data open the local folder open the packages folder so find packages and open the packages scroll down and then you have to go ahead and find this microsoft windows store underscore some alphanumeric character open this folder and make a right click on local cache and then click on delete now you can go ahead and open microsoft store and then try to launch or install the game the next step is to run powershell command so go ahead and type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow copy the first command paste it over here and then hit the enter key now ignore this error message in red color and now you can go ahead and try to launch or install the game now the next step is to go ahead and run this powershell command so on the same window you can go ahead and paste this command hit the enter key and let the process complete now this process will take time again you will receive uh, some errors in red colors just ignore this and let the process complete now once done you can go ahead and close this window now the next step is to start all these services for this you can go ahead and type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper so just make a double click on ip helper and then select automatic then click on apply if start is highlighted click on start and then click on ok now select all the xbox services scroll down here at the end you can see all the xbox services make a double click set it to automatic apply ok click on start if highlighted again set it to automatic click on apply if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok now again select automatic apply start and then click on ok now again set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok now find gaming services so you can go ahead and make a double click or you can make a right click on gaming services now if start is highlighted click on start make sure gaming services is running over here now find microsoft store install service and then make a double click set it to automatic apply if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click over here set it to automatic apply start and then click on ok and now you can go ahead and try to install or launch the game now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall microsoft store for this go ahead and copy this link the link is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall microsoft store from your computer and once done you can go ahead and restart your computer and after the system restart run this command and this will go ahead and reinstall microsoft store on your computer hit the enter key over here and then type in store and then you can go ahead and search your game and then try to launch the game or install the game you should not receive the error message now the next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command so go ahead and type, uh, type in inetcpl.cpl in windows search box then click on inetcpl.cpl go to advanced tab scroll down here you can see use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked over here then click on apply ok and then check now now if still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and use xbox app so xbox app comes pre-installed on your computer so you can go ahead and open xbox app on your computer and then you can go ahead and search the game over here and then when you are using xbox app make sure that you are logged in with same account on microsoft store so on the top right make sure that you are logged in with same account in my case it's different account so just make sure that you are logged in with same account on microsoft store and on xbox app and the account which has forza horizon 5 game so yeah i have the same account now now you can go to you can go to your collection over here you can click click on my collection and then you should be able to see forza horizon 5 game and then you can go ahead and try to launch it or install it from here 
and just use the Xbox app so you should not receive that error message now in if you are using D drive to install the game so like if you are not using the C drive to install the game so you can go ahead and open settings and then go to system go to system and then go to storage here you can see change where new content is saved click on it and in my case I have installed the game in D drive so you can go ahead and select C drive first click on apply and then go ahead and select D drive and then click on apply and then you can go ahead and try to launch or install the game now the next step is to update windows 10 using media creation tool so if nothing is working you can go ahead and update your windows 10 or 11 using media creation tool so for this copy this link if you have windows 10 this will take you to microsoft website now over here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file and now once you run this exe file you will see this screen so click on accept and by default upgrade this pc now will be selected so click on next now this will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked now when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so you can click on install and after the installation log into your computer and then try to check your game now in case of windows 11 you can go ahead and copy this link and then open this link in a browser and over here also you will find media creation tool over here so click on download now and then you have to go ahead and run this exe file now once you run this exe file uh, you have to go ahead and click on accept and then by default windows 11 will be selected and this time you have to go ahead and select iso file and then once you select the iso file you can go ahead and set it to the desktop and once the download is complete you can go ahead and make a double click on this windows iso file and then you will see the setup file you have to go ahead and make a double click on the setup file and then again it will go ahead and install it on your computer and again before the installation you will see the screen ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked so when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer open microsoft store and now you can go ahead and try to install or launch the forza horizon game from your microsoft store or maybe from xbox app and one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of the errors so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel